happen, obviously. You don't... Okay, good morning. Today we're opening the fascial pathways. We're working with fascia quite intentionally. Um, the fascia is almost like part of your enteric nervous system, and it's a gossamer fabric through the whole body. And I'm just going to explain a couple of principles before we go any further. Um, if you think of fabric, if you um, if you don't pull the fabric, you're not stretching it. It just it's floppy, and that's the same in our body. If we're not opening up right to the peripheries and spreading the fabric wide, then it doesn't receive the stretch. And this this fascial fabric likes to receive stretch with the muscular system. And when you involve fascia in muscular stretch, the muscles have the ability and capability of finding their full lengthening. Whereas if you don't involve the fascia, the muscles just stretch, but the fascia still holds a certain amount of contraction. So when you work with fascia, spread your fingers maximum, lengthen through the spine and then move into the movement, contract the muscles and move through the movement, through the contraction of the muscles and the spread of the fascial tissues. And this will engage the two levels of your internal anatomy, not just like stretch, fascia is not involved. Fascia, not involved. We want to go into fascia. Okay, so Kara, let's begin by standing up on the mat. And you can stand hips distance and just shift your weight a little bit side to side, beginning to feel into your new center of gravity because continuously that center of gravity is changing as the pregnancy progresses and the belly gets bigger. And as you close your eyes and drop your awareness into the body, just take a body weather reading. And by this, I mean, how is the mind space? Calm or busy? Or something else? And then how does the body feel? Are there areas in your body that are feeling either undue tension or that you're not really feeling at all? Is there pain anywhere in your body? Drop into the heart space and ask, how is my heart? And then listen to your connection, your connectedness to the whole. How is your connection to the earth? How is your connection to the heavens? Do you negate it, not think about it? Or can you truly bring yourself into that oneness of connection? Heavens, earth, physical self, spiritual body, all of it, bringing it into your midline, this awareness. You might want to turn on your mats because we're going to use the mat on the length way but you can open your legs a little bit wider and just work out the hips a bit. Manuela, we're working with fascia today, so remember that when we work with fascia, we want to find our full spread. So the palms are active when we're working into the fascial body. So stand with the feet more than hips distance apart and rotate the feet out just a few degrees. Feel the connection of the feet to the earth. And then we're going to begin to open the fascial swathes of the body. Spin all of your toes to the left, bend your left knee. Sweep your right arm around in a wide halo. Spread the fingers, go slowly as you draw back and down. And then take it to the other side and do the same again. Go around and through. You'll feel the tissues around the surface of the lung and the rib areas as you do this. And be purposeful, move inside your breath, go slowly, and like I said, spread your fingers. Feel as though you're spreading out the basma fabric of your body beneath the surface of your skin and envelops all of the muscle and the tissues as well. So when we work through engagement, it'll feel very different than just swinging your arm around. Engage, feel, work into the tissue. Breathe long and deep, and keep going. 
You can even close your eyes and work so slowly, going a little bit deeper, finding more flexion to the spine if you need. We're working on the vagus nerve as well, as we work into the fascia, the vagus nerve and the fascia and communication. As we release fascia, the vagus nerve becomes more comfortable. And then we move into a healing space as we work the fascia and vagus. Beautiful. Oh, good. Rotate the toes out, come to center, bring your hands just above the knees. Spin the fingers into the inner thighs, heels of the hands on tops of the clouds. Inhale, scoop the chest forward, look up. Exhale, round, curl around baby if you have baby in time. Otherwise, spread the wings of your shoulders. Inhale, push into your thighs, lift the chest, press it forward. Exhale, press into the thighs, round, tail curls under. And continue in this way, feeling into all the tissues, using the breath, deep inhales, long exhales. Notice where this tension patterns in the spine. How does it feel between the shoulder blades? Rhythmical movement, working with intention. Feeling even the scoop of the armpits as you round. Beautiful. Oh, good. And then finally, straighten the legs. Take your feet. So if the feet are on the parallel axis, turn them out 30 degrees. It's a very small outward rotation of the feet, just 30 degrees. So it's really healthy for a female pelvis. And in yoga, they always do parallel feet, but a healthy female pelvis enjoys the slight external rotation and it also stabilizes the pubis and any of the fascia around the linear alba. So from here, place your fingertips above your pubic bone, on top of the pubic bone. And if your pubic bone is tilting forward slightly, tuck it up and bring it towards the base of the uterus. Press firmly to the feet, engage the thighs. Open the arms, palms face down. Chin is slightly down, work out the shoulders until they're relaxed. Take a deep inhale breath, spread your fingers, and on your exhale, rotate the palms until the thumbs press back. Feel the sensation right through the arms. Inhale, bring the palms to face the ground. Exhale, rotate the palms, spread the fingers, draw the thumb back so that you really turn through the shoulder joint and you'll feel the sensations right through the arms. Beautiful. Do this a few times. We're energizing the heart center and all the tissues around the lungs, the spaces around the shoulders that get tight. If intentional slow movements today, slow practice as we work on these deeper levels of our anatomy. Final time. And bring your hands to your hips to relax your shoulders. You can work them out a little if you want to. And then just bring them into a relaxed place. Beautiful. And from here, open the arms wide. Take a deep inhale breath. On your exhale, spin the palms to face up. Bring your chest forward. Press back through your hips. You'll be surprised by the sensation coming into the body. Inhale. Come up to center. Exhale, rotate the palms. They won't go as far a rotation as you did before because you're tilting forward, chin to chest, body parallel to the earth, and then back to center. If the hamstrings are super tight, you keep the knees bent. That's absolutely fine. If you're feeling it well into the hamstrings and enjoying the sensation, keep the legs long. I'm going to be working deeper into those fascial tissues in a moment. And final time, knee forward. And then gently come to center, relax your palms onto your heels, no sound. I mean, onto your hips, distracted by the dog. <laughs> Beautiful. Taking it into side body movement. Cara, you'll take it a little bit more gently. Uh, Manuela, I'm going to add another movement for you. 
Kara, you're just focusing on length, neutrality, and then twist. Opening the palms wide, take a deep inhale breath, keep the slight external rotation of the feet, keep the pelvis level, rotate from the ribs. Kara, stay here. Manuela, flip your palms upwards and tilt backwards with the rotation, zip up and engage through the belly. Then from here, place the left palm on your left shin, reach your right palm high. Kara, keep the left palm on the shin. Manuela, left palm on the ground outside your right foot. Swivel the left hip back a little bit more and go deeper. Gently rise. Kara, come to center. Manuela, tilt back again in the twist. Remember, this heels abdominal separations. Then gently come to center. Join in Kara. Hands to the hips, relax the shoulders. Engage through the legs, roll the muscle to the bone, open the arms wide, spin your chest to the left. Para, stay there. Manuela, turn your palms upwards and tilt back as far as you can. Chin to chest. And now extend the spine over that right side. Kara, left palm to right shin. Manuela, left palm over, I mean, right palm to left shin. Manuela, right palm over the left foot. Swivel the right hip back a little bit more and keep extending and reaching through your left palm. Beautiful. Slowly rise. Kara, come to center. Manuela, keep turning the chest to the left side. Lean back, lean back, lean back. And then joining Kara at center, hands to the hips, relax your shoulders. Beautiful. Opening the arms wide, take a deep inhale breath. Bend your knees, swing your palms forward, round your spine, feel the roundedness. And then draw the arms back and through. Straighten the legs. Bend the knees, round forward. Sweep the arms around in a wide halo. Roll the arms back and as you do so, straighten the legs and squeeze between the shoulder blades. Do this a few more times. Take the rounds a little bit deeper. As you swim your arms back, straighten the legs and open strongly through the front body. Squeeze between the shoulder blades. Remember to keep the fingers spread to work into the fascial tissues. Intentional, slow, feel all of the space underneath your skin. Feel what's happening on the back ribs. Notice what's happening through your spine. One more cycle. And gently place your hands on your hips. And relax. Moving into side bend. Open the arms wide. Shift your weight over to the right. Place your right palm on your right shin. And then bend the left elbow. Spread the fingers. Shrug your left shoulder up to your earlobe and extend your left arm overhead. Then draw the elbow back. Shrug your shoulder up to your earlobe, keep the fingers spread, reach to the end for end range, end point. Pulse a few more times like this. Each time, draw those tissues across the rib bones. Extend. And then reach, hold three breaths. Breathe into the left lobes of the lungs. Gently come up to center, relax, drop the shoulders, work them out if you need to, hands to the hips. Oh, out of the mouth if you're holding tension. Soft, round mouth, oh, just like you will in labor, Kara. Oh, beautiful. Take it to the other side, opening the arms wide. Shift the weight to the left side, left palm comes to the left, shift, 
reach the right arm over, then bend the elbow, draw back like a bow and arrow, and then shrug your shoulder right up to the earlobe, then reach out and across towards the left side, long, short edge of the mat, and do that a few times. Spread your fingers, draw the tissues across the ribs, feel the sensations. As we work into the fascia, you will feel a lightness follow you through your whole day because we have released trauma and tension from these tissues. They'll feel hydrated. They'll be free of movement. There'll be emotional release, and that's okay. And finally, let's reach into the shape and hold for three breaths. Gently come up to center. Relax your hands to your hips. Roll out the shoulders a bit. And then drop the shoulders and relax for two breaths. For two or three breaths, I know. Beautiful. Sorry, you might need your blocks. Manuel and I will use our fingertips. It's up to you. Bend your knees. Shift the weight of the chest forward. Place your fingertips to the ground or to blocks. Hold blocks. Keep the feet slightly externally rotated. Press your fingertips into the ground. Fluff out your tail feathers. Feel like you're a bird with tail feathers and you're really displaying them. Then from here, push onto the outer edges of your feet. Press into your fingertips, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Exhale, push into the fingertips and begin to straighten the legs and bow. Your legs won't click straight. There'll be a slight bend in the knees. Inhale, pull into the fingertips, bend the knees, fluff out the tail feathers, reach through the chest. Exhale, press into the fingertips. Begin to straighten the legs with contracted muscles, with engaged muscles, and continue in this way. Engage them through the muscles. This engages the fascia. Keep gluing the fingertips. They're magnetized to the ground and back. Continue in this way. We're now working into the fascial space through the backs of the legs as well. Working into any tension patterns there. Creating more length through the muscles. Releasing any sticky places. This is not traditional yoga. This is body work to find somatic health, fascial health. Beautiful. And finally, take it into your forward fold, press the palms to your blocks or the ground, relax your head, and take several deep breaths here. Walk your fingertips back a little. You'll toe your feet a bit closer together. Press into the fingertips once again. Take a deep inhale breath, slightly bend knees. Exhale, squat. Inhale, press up. Be firm through the feet and take these movements slowly. Pull into the fingertips, slowly bring the hips down. And then as you press up, engage the muscles. Feel the engagement into the inner thighs. And do this a few times. You don't have to go completely deep. You can go to a place that feels good for the tissues of the body. You don't need to straighten the legs completely as you come up. You're feeling where your edges are. Oh, more time. And finally, deepening into the squat. Press the palms together, then squeeze the knees and squeeze the elbows together, then resist pushing the knees wider. You're doing the movement, but there's a resistance to the movement. Squeeze the elbows closer together and then push and widen the knees. Deep pelvic floor reactivation. And you can feel the muscles turning on. You're using the pressure of inner thighs to the elbows, elbows to inner thighs. And you're kind of resisting the movements. 
to create that and encourage the contractions through the muscle groups. Beautiful. And then once you've done this a few times, relax into the squat now. Relax the palms and just allow. Beautiful. Gently lift through the hips. Spin the heels slightly outwards and simply take a dangle. Again, relax the spine, let the head be heavy. If baby is really big, your knees are bent, elbows above the knees, head relaxed. Are you choosing? Beautiful. Please place your palms at the front of your mat. Walk your feet back, spread the fingers, anchor them firmly into the mat, press up high onto the balls of the feet, Bend your knees, press your belly back towards your thighs. Lengthen through the spine, keep the knees bent, and begin to roll the heels down toward the ground with bent knees. See if you can touch the heels to ground or get them close. Inhale, high onto the balls of the feet, keep the knees bent. Feel a squiggling opening between the toes. Exhale, roll the heels towards the ground, press back through the heels. Keeping the knees bent. Rise on the balls of the feet. High, high, high. Roll the heels, keeping the knees bent, and draw out the Achilles tendon. Do that two more times. You might feel clips and clacks in the ankle. And finally, draw the heels down towards the ground, and then slowly begin to straighten the legs. Two more breaths and down dog, because it's too intense, coming to child pose. And gently coming onto hands and knees. Beautiful. Keep your toes tucked under, push into the ball mounds of the toes, pull your palms towards your knees, feel like you're squeezing into the inner thighs, lift the tail, press the chest forward, inhale, look up, exhale, and flip the toes, working into all the joints now. Press into the fingertips like you're cupping your hands around an orange and round enormously. Take really slow movements, cascade the head. Flat palms, touch toes. Feel like you're magnetizing the backs of the hands and the knees towards each other as you lift your gaze and then push into your toes as you lift the gaze and flip the toes. Press into the finger pads and round enormously. Push into your shins as you round and just continue like that. Active cat and cow. And again, you're feeling the fascia through the back body on the posterior chain of muscles, all finding its engagement, moving through the stretches, noticing how it feels to ripple out through the spine and the body and the pelvis and the neck and head. Mm -hmm. oh. And finally, come to neutral spine. Take three deep breaths in neutral. Look at your right palm. Inhale, sweep your right arm up, spread the fingers, keep the elbow slightly bent, open the ribs, exhale, slide the right palm under, touch your shoulder to the ground. Inhale, sweep the right arm up, you might choose to bring it in a bit of a halo, bent elbow arm back and then through on the exhale, touch your shoulder to the ground. Do this a couple more times. Working through full range of motion with that spine. And then finally, take it into the twist. You can place a block underneath your left sh right shoulder of the ground, feels far away. And then from here, reach that left arm up. Bend the elbow, draw the arm back, elbow behind the ribs. Then bring the arm forward. Draw the arm back, 
elbow towards the ribs. Bring the elbow forward. You can place the blanket underneath your shoulder as well. And do that a couple more times. And finally, half bind that left arm. Fingers into the inner right thigh, or simply keep the left arm reaching up towards the sky. You choose. Five deep breaths. That left palm high, gently bring the left hand down to the ground. Slowly reach your right arm up to the sky. Both palms to the earth. Find your neutral and notice. It's not about gross movement patterns, it's about controlled movement patterns. Inhale, reach the left arm up, keeping the elbow slightly bent, draw the elbow and shoulder back, and then exhale, slide the left arm underneath the right, and gently bring your shoulder down. You might not reach the ground with the shoulder, and that's fine. It's the movement that matters. Keep the fingers spread, work through the shoulder socket, and then draw through and down. Keep going at your own rhythm. Work with the breath. And finally, find the twist. Get comfortable. Use a blanket underneath the left shoulder if you need it. Reach the right arm up. And in three little rotations, move through that right arm as well. Just pulsing the arm back with bent elbow a couple of times. And finally, find your bind. Or not, you can keep the palm reaching for the sky. Five deep breaths. Place the right palm onto the mat. Inhale, reach the left arm up, open the heart. Both hands come to the mat and pause. Please bring your forearms to the ground and then press into the forearms, lift the chest, look up at small cat and cow rolls on the forearms and then round up and relax your head. Squeeze into the armpits, push into the forearm, lift the gaze, and round. It's quite condensed movement, but you'll feel it through the tissues of the body. Beautiful. Kara, you can stay here with the forearms on the mat, just relaxing into the chest. Manuela, walk your palms forward, press into the heels of the hands, look up, and then exhale, pull the chest down and touch your heart to the back. Then pulse up, arms long, and press your chest towards the ground, drawing the armpits down. A few more of those pulsations. Kara, you're skipping this. Feel so good into the shoulders, Manuela. This will be so good for the shoulders for your day. And then find your place and hold.
gently slide your palms back. Come on to all fours. And just do really fluid counting cups. No contraction, no reaching for your extensions, just fluid. Noticing how the tissues have given you space and there's movement and mobility here now. And just being really mindful, Cara, with the next shapes, but don't go too deep. Step your left foot forward and rise. Interlace your hands and press the interlace onto your thigh. Cara, you're not going to go too deep. Feel like you're sweeping between the thighs and press the right buckle. Take a deep inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, push against the thigh and resist the movement down towards the low lunge. So you're not just flopping into the hips. Then resist the movement back. Squeeze the muscles and move back. Keep squeezing into the muscles. Push into the thigh. Resist the movement down. So feel as though you're trying to pull back, but you're drawing the hips down. All the muscles are working and the fascia is engaged. And just two more. As you move back, contract through the muscles, pull into the heel and the knees so that you can feel that they're working. Beautiful. Cara, go to a place that feels good for you. It might be hands to the box, keeping the hips quite high. Manuela, deepen into that low lunge and take three to four breaths. Now relaxing all the tissues of the body. So we move through circulation to relaxation, circulation to relaxation. Can you go back? Slide your left foot forward. Flex the left hip. Flex onto that back of that left heel and keep the knees super bent. Press into your blocks or fingertips to the ground and pull your chest forward. Take a deep inhale breath. Feel like you're trying to glide your right knee and left heel towards each other, but it barely moves and magnetizes. And then start to bring that left leg towards straight. Don't click it out straight. Keep the muscle contracted and bow. Inhale, squeeze heel and knee towards each other. Bend the knee, lift the gaze. Exhale, squeeze and slowly straighten the leg and bow. Just two more. And finally, take it to your extension. Place the palms onto the ground. Three breaths as you simply relax the spine and bow your head. But keep that pattern of, of muscular contraction through the back of that left leg. The rest of the body relax. Cara, come into child's pose. Manuela, extend your left leg back. Reach your left arm high. Now, see how high you can get the left heel with straight leg and exhale. Tap your left big toe slowly onto the ground. Inhale, lift that left leg as high as you can. Draw the pelvic muscles in and up and exhale down. Pull the belly towards the spine. Up, keep the engagement of that left leg. Pregnancy, you're in child's pose. Sheree, if you're doing this later, you're in child's pose, love. And finally, lift that leg, hold. If you're feeling stable, Manuela, bend the knee, reach for the foot, and then take a little stronger push back through the hips. Sway forward, relax the leg. Kick and press through the hips. Sway forward, relax the leg. Kick and press through the hips. One more time. 
hold. And gently come onto all fours. Clara, join us. Roll through the spine. You might take the hip rolls this time. Beautiful. Step your right foot forward and rise into a square lunge. Interlace your palms and push the interlace firmly onto the thighs. Lift through the chest. Feel like you're squeezing your inner thighs. Activate the left quad, activate the left glute. Deep breath in, lift through the heart. Exhale, push into the thigh and start to come down, resisting the downward movement. Muscles progressing. Press back, resist. Push into the feet, push into the meat. Slowly press back. You'll feel everything in that left quadricep. You'll feel through the pelvis as well. This initiates a deep toning of the pelvic floor muscles. And when we work with fascia, we work at reigniting all of the tissues in the body, including the linear elbow, which may have overstretched in pregnancy. That's this area at the abdominal between the abdominal rectus muscles that can sometimes separate. Just one more pulse. Focus. You have free attentional focus. There's not tension in the jaw, even though the sensations can be pretty intense. And then deep and down. Kara stayed quite high. Manuela, deeper into the low lunge, three breaths. How that quad is really stretching out now, Manuela. Feel into the stretch. Beautiful. Let's take it into the half split variation. Roll onto the back of the right heel. Bend the right knee. Press into the fingertips. Pull the chest forward or hold your block. Feel like you're squeezing or magnetizing the right heel and the left knee towards each other. This will engage the fascial tissues, then start to bring the leg towards straight, or one straight and completely, and bow. Bend the knee a little deeper, keep magnetizing, lift your gaze, magnetize again, and bow, straightening the leg a little bit. Small pulsing movement, but you'll have all the feels as you do this. Beautiful. And now, deepen and fold. Relax the spine, but keep that patterning of extension through the leg. Feel the tissues under the surface of your skin. Feel the muscle. Ara, gently come down into child's pose and relax your body. Easy. Manuela, extend your right leg back. See if you can keep the left foot right. So straight underneath you. Reach your right arm high. Inhale, lift the heel as high as possible. Exhale, tap the toe. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come down. Beautiful. Two more pulses. And finally reach for the foot. And exhale, kick and resist. Inhale, shift forward slightly, relax the leg. Exhale, kick. And press back. Do this a few times. Up, up, balance. It's tricky. Beautiful. And then hold it to the fist. And join Kara in child's pose.
So it's quite a lot of intense movement, Cara. The body can feel a bit tired, but it'll feel really open afterwards. So good. Then you come up to seated. Bringing the feet out in front of you, press into your palms. Now the fingers might face the hips or they might rotate out behind you. Tara, if you're tired, take, you can just go into your relaxation. This is the final exercise. But if you're feeling strong enough and you're feeling good and you want to get blood flow into the pulse and around the uterus, this is such a good exercise for that. Press into the feet, keep your chin to your chest at all times. Push up into the palms, lift the hips. And then slowly press firmly into the feet, press into the palms, and lower the hips. Do this two times, do it three times, do it five times. It's your choice. Beautiful. Final time with me, Manuela. Manuela, hold. Cora, stay seated. Very good for fixing an abdominal separation. And gently coming down. Beautiful. Manuela, simply move on to your back in Shavasana. And for you, Cora, Come onto your side, relax with pillows between your thighs, under your head, wherever, whatever you need to make your body feel really comfortable, and you are in your relaxation. Beautiful. And as you melt towards the earth, just notice how the body is feeling. Usually, it takes about another hour to notice how any gripping of your fascial tissues, muscles, it's gone. It releases. Manuela, you'll find a beautiful ease through your shoulders in working today. You'll find that you have space and you don't, won't carry the same tension through the shoulders as you do the intense and very intricate work that you do. It's deep work. Sometimes emotions will come to the surface because the fascia holds part of our memory system. And as we release what no longer serves us, we don't have to know what it is that we're releasing. That doesn't matter. We don't have to go into the stories. That doesn't matter. All that we've done here is given space to the fascia and permission to let go of what we don't really need right now. May you have a beautiful day. And maybe you be willing to feel the full kaleidoscope of emotions and be completely okay with that human experience. We are love. We walk in the light. Namaste, my friends.